Morning, how you doing? Down beside the Lincoln Waterway. Change of plan. I didn't end up going to the Abbey, as you can see. They didn't even go anywhere near it. Well, you know, I didn't ride up to it and have a look. Just thought, I can't tell where I've been before. And as you see, my sleeping mat's down. More comfortable in my uh, booby bag. I say comfortable, I didn't really sleep again. <laughs> I don't know, I just couldn't get. But the difference between being in a tent and out under the stars is amazing. And I tell you what, it's it's just not warm in England, is it? <laughs> I, I mean, you know, if it's overseas, it'd be easier. But I just couldn't really sleep much. I don't know if I slept at all, to be honest. I tell you, I'm looking up in the sky right now. How dull is that? I hope the sun comes out because it is a little bit cold. And probably have to go for a run or something just to warm myself up. As you can see, I've got some breakfast with me, some Muller rice, a couple of Muller rice yogurts, and a bunch bar for my Cadbury's. A few Oreos left over from this day. <laughs> so, looking forward to today's ride. We're heading to Woodhall Spa. Oh, it's just over there, two the houses from here. Then to Old Woodhall. Horn Castle and then I'm going to start going around the walls for a couple hours. Not quite gone yet, it's about to have my breakfast and <laughs> I came with the uh, restrap bag there and the other red bag on top but the red bags disappeared and um, I think I must have packed it in there but <laughs> in there I've got my sleeping bag, my uh, sleeping mat and the bivvy bag they've all gone into there perfectly fine this time I think I folded me uh, sleeping mat slightly differently and they've all gone in there and it must include and it must include the red dry bag as well so the only thing I really got to put away after that is my leggings which could come off a little bit later on and this fleecy jacket so I can probably fit those in a normal spot just above above the dry bars so even more compact just coming to the end of the stretch between Woodhall Spa and Horncastle via Old Ward Hall He's been old training ground when a job out of Hawcastle. I am beyond Horncastle, going along Hemmingsby Lane to the village itself, well towards the village, I'll be turning right, the village is on the left, which means the uh, climbing, well it's already started in the last couple of minutes, as I head towards Belchford, I'll be going up my uh, Everstein Hill at Tetford, Tetford Hill. Last time I went through there on the uh, ride to London, everybody called it the, the Ricky Lake Hill. <laughs> I should keep to Tetford, thank you. Thanks anyway. <laughs>
memories of my Avis and Challenge are flooding back right now. <laughs> I think it was, what was it, 105, 106 times up this hill in Wee Lincolnshire. First person to climb Tetford Hill as an Everesting. In fact, more think about it, it's probably the first time in life I've actually been the first at something. I guess that's what uh, cycling allows you to do though, so many different facets to the uh, the whole sphere of uh, cycling, isn't it? So you can, uh, you can be the first at anything really. I definitely couldn't do the Everesting Challenge on this bike. I'm glad I chose the Cube. So now, it's all downhill to my first stop of the day where I'm stopping for some breakfast or cup of tea and that's uh, Claythorpe Watermill. I can still feel the strength of the wind on my back. It's dropped a lot since yesterday but it's still, still pretty beefy. Going down the southern slopes of the Lincolnshire Wolds. I've just been thinking which is my favourite part of the Wolds? North or South? It's the Mark Cross YouTuber. He's also got a cycling club on Strava. Anyway, there's a meetup tomorrow hosted by Tim and Jez Coupland. Starts in Stickney, which is in uh, well, it's just south of the Wolds here in Lincolnshire. So I'm going to be joining that. I think getting this far, I've heard a breakfast stop. Been riding. Let's have a look. 36 kilometres. Wow. Thought it'd have been a little bit further than that. <laughs> We're about 40 plus by the time I get there. So on a 100 mile ride, that's a quarter of the way. Go about this little climb. Long Hedge Lane at Swaby. Oh. Just arrived at Claywater. Claywater, can you say Claywater? Thinking think in Claywater, Claythorpe, Claythorpe Watermill. And look, an outdoor cinema screen. Yeah. I didn't go for the full English, I ended up going for bacon and egg sandwich and a pot of tea so yes it's well behaved save a few pennies for that next big holiday whenever that's going to be
I must say a big thank you to Eddie. Cheers, mate. I've just checked my phone. He just bought me a spare in the tube by buying me a coffee. Link below in the description. I'm just hoping I don't need that anytime soon. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Quick stop at Cooplands in Market Raisin. What are that place is over there? It says Mammoth, 325 miles, 620 kilometers. That's somewhere in France. It's a little bit windy here outside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Somewhere near one of the spittles, Ownby Spittle, I think, or Snittyby, somewhere like that. I thought, I'm going to stop here and get a picture of the haystack after seeing Dieter Nelson put a picture up on Facebook today. I thought, I'm going to do that. They make for fantastic photos, don't they? It actually reminds, it actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Paris Best Paris. Now, Paris Best Paris is a 1200 kilometre around day from Paris to, funnily enough, Brest in Brittany, 600 kilometres each way. Did that in 2019 and right near the end i say right near the end it's about 15k from the end but you know by that point i was pretty tired in fact that, that tired i decided i was gonna park my bike up and just get 40 winks uh, <laughs> after about a couple of minutes i was really interrupted by one of the marshals going "Ale, ale, you get up you are nearly you're nearly at bambuaye which is the name of the town right near the end so yeah fond memories fond memories on the lincoln edge Heading into Curtin upon the Sea, and I forgot. I just done, jumped on uh, a bit of a chain gang. Some lads from Chesterfield. They've gone uh, off the edge there. Come up to the last 20 something kilometres. Lawton Woods, or Loughton Woods, however you like to pronounce it. Dead ahead of me. Pace wise, currently doing 28k, so I'm managing to <laughs> push through the wind somehow. That's still pretty good pace. So there's about 10k to go, less than that. Nearly done. I hope that makes a good backdrop. I just looked appealing. Anyway, it's about 5k to go. I'm nearly home. I hope you enjoy this one. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel, Please, please, please head to buymeacoffee.com. Links below the video. You can buy me a spear in a tube, uh, bacon butty, or even good old plain coffee. All the money goes back into the channel to keep me going, keep me motivated, keep me bringing out hopefully great content. Uh, I'm talking of great content, hopefully, there'll be some great content coming to you in the next video in the shape of, if you mentioned earlier, Frosty Cycling Crew. We're going to have loads of people down there, loads of YouTubers you probably know. And uh, yeah, should be a great day. Certainly in terms of people going to be there. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. Hoping that wind dies down a little bit. Anyway, that's enough of uh, Michael Fish. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.